Discover unbeatable deals and convenience at your neighborhood Family Fair supermarkets. Score exclusive deals, earn rewards, join clubs, and clip digital coupons for extra savings all in one place. Our exclusive offers bring savings straight to your card. Explore a wide range of local products that support your community. With easy pickup and delivery options, saving time and grocery shopping has never been easier. Family Fair is all about making your grocery experience easy and affordable and your one-stop shop for all your grocery needs. Family Fair in your neighborhood. All aboard for your chance to win $1,000 every week until December 28th. That's right, $1,000 cash just in time for the holidays. To hop on board, just head to churchillmortgage.com and punch your ticket to the Churchill Express giveaway. Visit churchillmortgage.com for your chance to win big. This is a paid advertisement. NMLS ID 1591. NMLSconsumeraccess.org. Equal housing lender. 1749 Mallory Lane, Suite 100, Brentwood, Tennessee 37027. in cooperation with the United States Air Forces, presents the Bob Hope Show from Berlin, Germany. On Christmas Day, 4,000 miles away from home, thousands of American boys listened to a show that brought them a little bit of home. They were the boys who keep the airlift into Berlin running. The boys who have given up their Christmas to help strengthen the cause of humanity. Because of these men, a child eats who might otherwise go hungry. And the light of freedom burns more brightly in the world. To carry to these Americans overseas... Something of the fun and spirit of America, Bob Hope and his gang, at the request of the United States Air Forces, flew to Berlin. What you are now about to hear by transcription is the very same show our men enjoyed Christmas Day. The laughter is their laughter. The show was their special show. And now, Lever Brothers Company, makers of Swan Soap, is proud to present Bob Hope. Whenever I walked out of 
streets of Berlin, everybody follows me yelling and cheering. Any of you fellas know what swine hunt means? You know, a lot of fellas, a lot of people volunteered to come over here for this trip, this Christmas trip here, and I now have the privilege of introducing one of America's all-time great men of the Air Force. I get a special charge out of presenting General Jimmy Doolittle. Thank you, Bob. I'll take less than a minute of your time, but as an average American, I want to express the gratitude and appreciation of 147 million Americans back home to the soldiers, sailors, and airmen who are accomplishing the airlift. You're doing a magnificent job, not only for Germany and America, but for all humanity. I also want to express the appreciation of all of us, to Senator Barkley, to Secretary Symington, and particularly to Bob Hope, Irving Berlin, Jinx Falkenberg, the Rockettes, and all of the generous and talented groups who are with them and are spending their Christmas here in order that they may bring home a little closer to you. this year. The folks back home have really latched onto her. I'm sure you'll agree with them when you meet Miss Eileen Ryan. Really? Well, Alice, 
Those have never bothered me. Yes, but were you ever up on high before? You said that I once climbed to the top of Crosby's wall. <laughs> very much this time, except because the time I got sore at the pilot. Well, you shouldn't blame him, Mr. Holt. He had to go back and run the ship. He couldn't stay there any longer, rocking you in his arms and rubbing your head with Jurgen's lotion. Well, they do it for majors, but please, don't... Don't give these fellas the impression that I wasn't brave. Well, it wasn't so hard for you to be brave, Mr. Holt. You were wearing two parachutes. <laughs> I built that way, and besides, <laughs> it gives me more safety. In case the first one doesn't open, I pull the string on the other one. What if that doesn't open? Well, I've got a helium valve that inflates my shorts. <laughs> What's well, that, Miss Fryer? Did you enjoy the stop over at Paris? Oh, yes. I went shopping, and I got a complete new outfit. I bought an off-the-shoulder blouse and one of those long skirts that trails on the ground. Then I had my hair done up in spit curls. And then I put on one of those French berets, and they stopped me at the border. They, they did? Huh? Yes. The MP shined a light in my face and said, who are you? I told him that I was a girl from the United States and came in with the last shipment. He said, that's the trouble with those steamship lines. They let things lay around the dock too long. <laughs> that introduction over again. Why, is there something wrong, Irving? Yes. You know, you've got the name wrong. It's Irving Jones. Irving Jones? Yes. I changed it. Anything over here named Berlin, they cut up into sectors. <laughs> yeah, but, Bob, 
but I'd like to get serious for a minute, if I may. All right. All of us are deeply indebted to the Air Force for the job they're doing here on the Berlin Airlift. And by way of showing my appreciation, I've written a special song. Every three minutes of every hour, an American plane goes winging to Berlin, loaded with the food and fuel which keep two and one half million people alive. This is a tremendous job, as we know, and it's called Operation Vittel. <laughs> Long ago, a group we called the Air Corps helped build the wall and took the bow. Not long ago, we cheered the fighting Air Corps. Let's see what's happened to the now. Operation Zippo, we'll soon be on our way. With coal and wheat and hay, and everything's okay. Operation Zippo, as in the air we go. We won't forget to blow a kiss to Uncle Joe. We're growing fonder of the wild blue yonder. Making the buck, flying the truck. No one here be little, the job that must be won. Although the war was won, we'll be there. Earning stripes and bars in our own great cars. Till the airlift checks you
Hey, Jason, girl, let's show the folks back home how the soldiers of three sectors make love to a girl. Well. And now we take you to Berlin, where an American GI is calling on his sweetheart. <laughs> just landed at Temple Hall. Oh, Robert, it's good to see you. Come into the house and take your hat off. Okay. What's the matter, Miss? But do you love me, Reggie? Of course I do, Governor. You make my blood run hot. Which is quite a feat when you consider it's half tea. Never have a glimmer of thought. What do you say, old girl? Should we be married in a fortnight? Oh, I prefer a church wedding. Oh, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, your proposal has made me very happy. Good. Now, enough of love. Who do you think will win next year's cricket matches? Oh, please. We're engaged now. Take me in your arms and kiss me. As you wish. <laughs> there you are. Stel, did you like it? <laughs> Who do you think will win next year's cricket matches? Now, still the same team, same girl, but this time with a soldier from the Russian sector. Come in. How'd you do, my... Oh, no, that's all it is. Wrong sector. Good evening. Good evening, comrade darling. Oh, it's you, Ivan. How are you? Very tired. I've been on KP all day long. No killing peasants. <laughs> but anyway, I'm fine. I'm also the most handsome, fascinating, gorgeous, irresistible, talented, beautiful man in the Russian sector. Would you like to kiss me? No. All right, I'll kiss myself. <laughs> I do not understand how you can resist me, standing here so close to me. Does it make you weak? No. That's funny. It makes me weak. <laughs> I've come here to ask your hand in marriage, my little jinkichka. <laughs> marriage? Oh, but do you love me, Ivan? Well, this morning I sent an application to the Kremlin and also mailed two copies to the proper authorities, and tomorrow morning they will notify me. They will, they will notify you? Yes, tomorrow they will tell me if I love you. <laughs> celebrate the occasion, I have brought some vodka. What is vodka? That's a zombie that belongs to the Communist Party. <laughs> I have changed my mind. I have decided not to wait to hear from the Kremlin. I have decided that I love you. But I thought it was you that you loved. That's all right. I ain't jealous. <laughs> Come, Babushka. Marry me. Oh, wonderful, Ivan. And maybe after a little while, there'll be a few little Ivan. A few? The first year of our marriage, we will have 15 children. Uh, 15 children in one year? How is that possible? Don't ask me. It's a new order from Stalin. Thank you so much. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the Berlin Airlift is the biggest thing that's ever happened to post-war aviation, and believe me, spending Christmas with the men who run it is the biggest thing that's ever happened to us. It's a great pleasure, both we spotted last night and here in Berlin with a lot of the men of the ground force. You know, I've been singing thanks for the memory for a good many years, but I never expected to sign off a show and go off the air with the memories of Stilling as Christmas at Operation Vittles. Speaking of thanks, I'd really like to spread them around and I'd say thanks to the gang making this Hollywood to Berlin and return jaunt with us. Dink Falkenberg, Irving Berlin, Jane Harvey, Bill Farrell, Tex McCrary, Eileen Ryan, Tony Romano. They're the kind of people who make show business the business with a big, warm heart. And I want to put in a king-size thank you for Larry Gelbart, Cy Rose, Mort Lockman, Al Capstaff, Gene Wagner, Jim Sapper, Charlie Cooley, Jack Wormser, and my friend Jay Scott. They're the writers and directors and secretaries who put the airlift at the top of their Christmas list. We couldn't have put on a show without them. And above all, our thanks to you men of the Berlin Airlift. It's been wonderful spending Christmas with you, and I only wish the Statue of Liberty could talk. Because she'd take one look at the job you're doing and say, Men, you're not only lifting coal, you're lifting men's hearts. You're raising the iron curtain, and the torch in my right hand, you're putting it in every heart in Europe. Good night, folks, and here's a little P.S. from the gang in the Berlin Airlift. Happy New Year! <laughs> have been listening to a special broadcast of the Bob Hope Christmas Show from Berlin, Germany. You have heard the show transcribed just as it was presented to the men of our United States Air Forces abroad. This broadcast was brought to you by Swan Soap, the newer, better white floating soap. Swan, better for dishes, better for hands, better for baby, better for bath. Be sure to listen next week when Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Swan, present the Bob Hope Show from Hollywood. Mirror, mirror on the wall is my hair fairest of them all. It is when you use Rave Cream Shampoo. Rave leaves your hair so clean, so soft, so easy to manage. Easy to manage because the pure lanolin in Rave is specially blended with other important ingredients to make hair behave, even on shampoo day. Try Rave Cream Shampoo. R-A-Y-V-E. Rave Cream Shampoo. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered ChumbaCasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.